Hello YouTube, welcome to my unboxing of this LG 4K Ultra HD TV. Uh, just purchased today from Richard Sounds. I'm gonna unbox it and set it up and hopefully give it a quick demo. Sorry this video is a bit rough and ready but I'm not excited, I just want to get it out of the box and get it set up. So sit back, enjoy me fiddling around. That sounded wrong. Enjoy me playing around. No, God. Um, just sit back and enjoy. So as I open it up, I have a view inside the box. We have the main's power plug, which is three pronged circular end at a right angle. Now this is interesting. The bezel, the stand is in three parts. We've got an L for the left, R for right and the centerpiece which look like they need to be unwrapped obviously and screwed together so lift off the four starry And represented with a nice box. It's a nice black box. I take off the box, and what do we have inside? Well, we have two pairs of glasses. That's, they're very light. You already know you got them on. They seem comfortable. What else do we have in the box? We have a remote control. Very small, quite plasticky, nothing fancy. We have a magic user, you know that. And silver and black. Now that's interesting. Now I believe this is very similar to a Wii remote, where you can point it around and it follows you. So that'll be fun to try. Not tried one of them before. What else do we have? That sounds quite interesting. Right, all the couple of pairs of batteries, the triple A, double A, some kind of wire clip, magnetic wire clip it feels like, cable tie, some more clips, some screws. A scar to HDMI, I believe, and some more screws. So, all, all kinds of bits and bobs in there. What else do we have in the box? Looks like quite a thick HDMI cable. A sticker, near field communication, tag on. That is, and various instructions, warranty cards, manuals, things like that. I think I'm gonna unwrap the um, stand and see if we can screw it all together.
Right, take our stand Line it up with the holes Like so Get our four other screws Right, so that is now on my sister, on my stand. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick reference to the manual to see where the cable clips go on to. Where the cable management clips go on the back of the legs. That's handy. Well, I want to guess that to be honest with you. It's handy to that. Ooh, straight on. Right, smart remote. What's this remote here? Oh, as you can see, it's working like a Wii remote. English United Kingdom, yeah. Now let's watch some TV. Right, I've had my LG TV running for about a day now. Quite impressed with it. I'm going to run through some of the features with you. First of all, you need to turn the TV on. So I'm going to use my trusty Harmony Logitech remote. I'm going to click on Watch U View, and that'll turn the telly on, the amp on, and the U View box on. First of all, I'm just going to talk through this remote here. This is the I don't know what to call this. It's like a wand magic remote. So we've got kids doing major X. So really nice remote it feels really nice really comfortable it is paired with my uview box but that's all it's paired with at the moment i can't get it to pair with my amp or my apple tv now as you can see it acts like a nintendo wii but it's really accurate i've used nintendo wii's before never liked them this seems to be really accurate It also has voice activation in there, but the voice activation is not very good. For example, I 
watch Netflix. It's gone to watch FX. I'm pushing the button, there's no response. There we go. Watch Netflix. Yeah, it has picked up Netflix that time. And there we go. So it does work, but it's a bit hit and miss. I don't know what it's like in a noisy environment when you're watching TV. It is connected to the UView box, so when I say watch Sky News, it does sometimes work. So let's go on to Netflix. Here we are. Now, oops. Now, if you want to watch 4K content, there's only a couple of ways you can do it at the moment, as I've discovered. First is Netflix. If you look in the top left hand corner, it says Ultra 4K HD. Now, you do need an extremely good internet connection to watch 4K. Now, I've tried it a couple of times and it's, it has worked, it's been okay. But my internet connection is not the best. And anybody who's seen Breaking Bad will know how good it is the scenery and how good it should look. So yeah. The other option for getting 4K is YouTube. Now you've got to be careful with YouTube if you want to watch true 4K because a lot of it is only running in 1080p. So you got to just look around and see what is genuine 4K. So we'll not. Now the YouTube interface on here is really good compared to other YouTube interfaces like for on Apple TV for example. So these are some 4K videos that I've put on. seem to play really well on YouTube. Now I have read comments that some 4K is quite compressed so it's not as good as you would get if you was running it directly. But again you just got to play around you can quite easily tell what is 4K what isn't. Now this web I, uh, um, web OS is, is quite nice to use. I, I've not this is my first LG TV so I don't know what their smart TVs were like before. But there's the web interface. Again, you can use the, the Magic Wand remote to update your Magic Wand remote software. Okay. Um, so you can use that, or you can use a, a standard thing. But that's Facebook, for example, on the web browser. But there is, again, like I said, a Facebook app you can download. And that seems to be more user friendly. There's also a Twitter app. The Netflix are saying the Amazon Prime. There's no 4K content on Amazon Prime yet, and BBC iPlayer. What I've noticed about this web, this interface here is the if you go to the left here, there are tabs that are open. And you can close them down by, I believe, is it the X? So yeah, again, this magic wand is quite fiddly to use at times, so I prefer to go back to my hard button remote. And then you can, again, if you go to the left side, these are thing, tabs that are currently open. It does have a quad core processor in the tally, so things run pretty smoothly. Um, and then if you go there, your main apps, 
and then if you go to the right there's all the other apps and you can actually reorder these by pushing up and swiping them along and then back down again so you can reorder things you use most commonly and get them to the front let's look at the 3d stuff now now my 3d content is connected on my Plex system. Now on the 2014 LG Tellies there's no Plex on this new web OS. Plex is a media server which I used on my Samsung TV to play 3D films and it was really good because you got all this nice artwork and film description and information downloaded off the internet. So there's no Plex on this LG TV but I can still use the Plex media server using something called DNLA. A bit complicated but you can see. So you can connect devices so I'm, I want to connect to my computer I want to share content on the computer and if you look on the right hand side here you'll see my um, devices. So I'm going to connect to Plex media server I want to watch videos and there's all my 3D content so I'm going to watch a 3D movie all movies and there's my 3D collection so let's put a film on Have a tea. Continue watching. Now the TV, like I said, does come with two pairs of 3D glasses. Now sometimes it does automatically detect the ratio, the, the side by side or the up and over. It hasn't this time, so I've just got to press the 3D button on my remote. And it's automatically now detected that 3D gone. And then use your 3D presses. And that's it. So what else is there to show you? Um, let's have a look at the LG Store. This is where you get your apps. Now, some of the apps, like the ones you install, you can delete by clicking up and then clicking up again. But a lot of the generic apps you can't delete. So we'll go to the store. Where's the store gone? There it is. Most of the apps are free. There's a couple of paid ones. Hopefully mall comes soon. Now up in the top corner here, the top right, we've got the little cog. That's the traditional TV system settings. Now first thing you want to do really is update the firmware. And it took me a little while to find this. But it's actually in general about this TV. And then software check for updates. And there's lots of different settings in there. I have my sound turned off because I'm running it through the amp. And that's about it really. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, 
just leave them in the comment box below. Check out my other gadget videos. Um, and that's it. Bye.